Hi there and welcome to a competitive commander gameplay video. In this match we have Jinja piloting Jeska and Isha white, red and blue. Then we have Pontus with us piloting his Krak and Frasis Temur storm deck. This is a 50-50 deck but it's also built around Song of Creation. Then we have Annis with us piloting a little bit older version of Tumnacrom, Opius Thief. And last, we have me piloting my typical Cissé stuff. Law of Cissé, ruler laws, other stacks effects, and fast combo attempts. This video contains one battle, and it's a little bit of a longer one. That's all you really need to know. Now let the game rock and roll. Dark card for the turn. Windswept Heath. Sacrifice the Windswept Heath for something that taps for green to cast a wild growth onto it and pass the turn finding black and green bayou. Over turn, I'll play a prismatic vista. I'll crack it for a forest. I'll cast a mana crypt. Then I'll cast a lotus petal. I'll crack the lotus petal. Cast a topia sprawl. Everything my first. I'll name red. Have two. It's the card. And pass. It's exotic orchard. Yeah, I can pass our stuff. Go for it. So my turn, draw. I play an island as a land turn. And I cast a mox opal. Do a lotus. Crack the lotus for white. Cast Isha. Yeah, nice. I see a black player. And then I pass the turn. I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh, that changed thing. Play Toe, land drop. Tap these two, floating a black mana, casting a soldering. Trigger. You get it. Tap this for two colorless, flo still floating the black. Tap things for white, casting a smothering tight. I have another. Ah, oh, yeah, you get it. And this is one of the strongest openings you can have, in my opinion, with CC. A turn two smothering tight is perfect. CC doesn't really need that much cards to her hand, she just needs mana. And uh, after smothering tight resolves, I pass the turn to you, Pontus. Upkeep, roll for crypt, pulse damage, take three, draw for turn, and I can. Will I play this? I will not play this tax. Then I will get some treasures. Bloodstain Mire, crack, find a volcanic island. Then I'd like pay two life and cast the Gitaxian probe. Trigger card. Who do you target? I can target Unlist to begin with. The card trigger, once I get it, just back my hand. Cast it again, take some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be here for a while. Okay, take two more. <laughs> my god. <laughs> also, this is triggering in one. Take two more. Yeah, yeah, you can draw that thing, I don't care. Oh, wow. Take two more. Once Wait. I get it, I get it. So I have two count. Uh, the second will target. I like Ginger with the second one. Most threats are on the board. So the first one resolves. Uh, the others can look away. Okay. Is that seeable, nice and clear? Yeah, I can see. Draw for the first copy. I have a trigger. Yeah, I can pay for that trigger. Okay, I don't get one. Second copy on the stack. Look away, people. I miss. Kill the class. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, tell me if you Ooh. can't see anything. Yeah, I can see it. We'll see. It. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Take it away. That is really shiny. Go down. Draw the second card. I have another trigger. Uh, I can pay for that one as well because that's kind oh. of duds. That's responsible. He is, right? I'll cast a LED. Uh, yeah, and then pass. That bird got big, thick, quick. Yeah, yeah, is that, that's, a, yeah. Is that a one shot? Pontus casts a lot of spells. Shock in his blood creep. Uh, when you draw a card for turn, can I have a treasure? Uh, yeah. I'm here with that. Uh, I'm gonna play a talisman. And then I'm gonna pass her. Hunter, draw, not paying for the type. I, I think I will go to combat and then swing for nine at Mr. Tive. Me? Oh, I take nine. Commander them. That's not nice. Now uh, I need to deal just, with you. That's relevant. Yeah, my second main phase, I would like to go fetch. That is okay. It is. Third of a Panic Island. Or, uh, there. It's sadly the only duel I have rocks. Okay, I will spend those two mana to play a Talisman of Creativity. Then I will use this, paying a life for two mana. Yes, three or day. That is okay for everybody. I will try two. I think I spry one to top, the other one bottom, then I draw one, I don't, and then I pass turn. Do I get a treasure? Yes, you, you get the treasure. Nice. Untap, I'll draw a card, I'll shock into play, a stomping ground, tap, play toe, tap, soldering, cast, CC. Ah, oh, okay, fixed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna cast Ashok Dream Render, black, green, sacrificing this treasure. Ashiok on the stack. I assume I can resolve. Here we go. Uh, minus Ashiok and target uh, Pontus. I don't really trust your deck. Okay, top four, great. Yeah, top four, and then all graves of yours are gone. Amelia Impact Engagement, Repeal, Island, Tropical Island. Then we're gonna slow down this game. We're gonna cause a, a deafening silence. 
by sacrificing this there treasure. <laughs> yes, you get it. Yep. Two more cards in my hand, and I uh, pass the turn. On tap. Roll for cry. Hold this damage. No damage. Roll for turn. Trigger. Uh, I can... You can only cast Trigger, one spell yeah. anyways. No, one old creature spell. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, that's Brock's point. Seat of Brass, land for turn. This is kind of funny. It's not the right call, though. I think I kind of need to take this risk, actually. Casting Ponder. Crack Trigger. Yeah, you can get the treasure. Well, not the treasure, uh, the counter. Yeah, I might not even get the treasure. Crack trigger, odds I get it. I kind of wanted to get it here. I get it. So screw Check the three. Sure. Take that card. Uh, you can... I can pay for this one. All right. I don't get that one. Resolve the second one. Three. I'll shuffle. There we go. Shuffle. Draw. Ah, uh, trigger. You could get the treasure. Yeah. Oh, nice. Richer. And then I will pass. Uh, when you draw a card, can I have a treasure? Uh, yeah, I'm tap two. You get a treasure. Uh, for a thousand. Um, at least set up. I'm gonna take two damage, uh, tapping these for two white. I'm gonna want to play around the ball here, uh, and then I'll pass. I go through. Now the question becomes: Who to one shots? <laughs> Uh, the question is, uh, once probably has a, a flying creature, at least, that could run, so there's no point back him. What's first flying I'm creature lost. for three could he run, three or less of first? I'm thinking about the payment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not about containment priest, more about oh. something that flies for Maisha. Yeah, I can't think of anything uh, that flies in this deck, honestly. Think harder, Pontus, you know the answer to that one. I could know it, three or less. Uh, I don't pay. I get a treasure. So, uh, you took eight commander damage, is that right? I took nine. Nine? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I play my land for turn, Tundra. Wait, that's lethal without Jessica. <laughs> I would like to move to combat. Yeah, I'll just force him to use the activation. Before Once. you move to oh, yeah. combat, uh, I'm gonna tap this for green and then I'm gonna sacrifice four treasures to put a CC activation on the stack. What creatures am I forgetting? You forgot the Revi. Right, of course. Well. <laughs> uh, it E to be trigger, I'm gonna tap down that creature, that bur big, big bird. Yeah, you got it. Burp tapped. The burp tapping the other burp. For some reason, I thought the review was one generic and bound. I would like to move to my second main phase and a three mana to cast Jessica. I have a response. That's a non creature spell. Uh, fierce guardianship on that. Yeah, sure. I've actually played a lot against Jessica with CC and I know how strong she is versus that creature building board state. So I really want to prioritize getting rid of this planeswalker when I'm playing a creature oriented deck. Yeah, that was my non creature for turn, so I will pass, but I also have a trigger for it. You must take the thinking and step. Uh, the rare is a 2 3, right? Yeah, she is. Uh, this is a 5 5 7 7? Uh, 6 6. I have uh, black six. and bunt, everything but red, so 6 6. Oh, yeah, you don't do red. You can't move from here, right? Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything here right now, so yeah, go for it. Alright, I will uh, untap and I will draw a card. Mm, I'm gonna minus Ashiok. I think we are... You shuffled afterwards, so you don't know the top card of your library after Ponder. So this... I don't have to, like, target you. We're gonna target Anis this time, actually. Yeah, top mm -hmm. four, right? Yeah, top four. Yeah, Ponder six. Uh, Tarnish Citadel, Dongmas Will, Underground Seat, No Can Thief. Yeah. That was pretty decent. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That bird is big, though. It is. Combat. I'm swinging with Darevi and Cisse at Annis, I believe, here. Yep. Don't do anything. That is a total of eight damage, if you don't do anything about it. No, it's... Oh, wait. Before damage. Uh, it will be more. Sacrifice this treasure. Uh, I will... One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I'll put two targets. I will... I want to untap these two. And I want to activate CSA. One time. Sorry? One time or two times? One, one time. That one time. Look, yeah, that didn't uh, look like two times. The question is, once yeah. you can activate a second time, right? If you get your no. untaps? No, I don't. That's what. That's with his untaps. Yeah, so this is how it's going to look like afterwards. I see. So, so I, will have, I will have free man afterwards. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're not going to be scary at all here. Not at all, guys. Not at all. I can see you being, being scary. <laughs> that sounds suspicious. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Here, here is a unicorn that doesn't do anything. It's a 4-4. Oh boy. Uh, does he have oxide in hand? Probably. He doesn't have mana for it. Where you can untap land, I guess. Then I have uh, uh, two hits that is coming in. If there's no effects, you take eight, and I will untap these two. Uh, I would like I would like to do something after you fetch Emil, but before combat. Before the triggers is up. Yeah. 
I would like to sort the uh, hmm, question. Remy or Cisse? I'd say Emil. I think I will sort yeah, the... What, what do you think, I'd, guys? I'd say Unicorn, because if there's a chance he has Dark Side, he just wins. Yeah, I don't no, have if I, if I kill if I kill the Remy or Cisse, he doesn't have... Uh, if I kill the Remy, he doesn't have mana, right? To play the Dark Side. Uh, no. The three yeah. are still on the stack. I think I, I, think I target Cisse. Cisse is always the wrong choice here, I'd say. Like, with Cisse, he can yeah, still win. I guess, I guess I target the Revy. Yeah, that's right. He gets one untap. If I target the Revy, there's none. So, yeah. I think the Revy is the my problem, choice. Final. No, the, the problem here is, though, if, if the Unicorn is still on the field, as soon as he either tutors or draws Darkside, we just go to hell. Um, that's a problem for future Ginger. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's either the Revy or the Unicorn. Uh, I say Unicorn, but you can go for Deflecting SWAT. I want to change that target to. Uh, honestly, the biggest threat is Grand Abolisher here, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I, I get the trigger. I, I'd say I'd remove the, the 13 or the 14. Sorry, the 15 15 in the air. I, I'm not in a. I have three cards in hand, and it's not. Um, I'm in no position to win. That's what I'm trying to say. Unless you have more removal. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to remove the bird, honestly, but y y Grand Abolisher is really scary, really dangerous. It has to be respected. I, I really yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. Remove the bird, but yeah, I mean, sure, yeah, if you have more removal, it doesn't yeah. seem that dangerous. But every time you don't respect it, you get punished. Yes, <laughs> that's I mean, what yeah, I feel. I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's a side plus, but uh, unless you have more removal, I'll have bird. And I will untap these two things and pass the turn. Untap or script all this damage. Make three, draw. Now we pray. No goblin, no goblin. Yeah, but okay, I'll cast Thrasius and pass. That's how scary I am. Oh, 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 actually, I, I am going to do his, wait, ah, oh, hmm, yeah, ah, uh, let's not. Don't, don't feed the tire. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pay for, uh, like... Alright, I get a, I get a treasure. One mana from winning the game. He's, yeah, he's one uh, treasure away from the end step activation. I am not actually Pontus. Uh, I know, I used one creature short. No, I am one, that too, uh, but I'm one blue mana short as well. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap three and I'm gonna go for, uh, no, then I'm just gonna pass her. Almost did something extremely stupid. Can I have um, a treasure? I'm thinking, Emil is a 4-4, four -four, that's right. Yeah, she's a 4-4. Four -four. I think I will pay. Alright. I play my land for turn, and then I would like to move to combat. Before you go to combat, I will tap my Soul Ring and display Toe to activate the meal to flicker the Revi. It comes into play again, and I will target your big bird. Uh, this is the big reason why I found Emil, because it's protection against that birdie. Uh, in response to the activation, I think I will bolt the Revy. Lightning bolt? In that case, I'm gonna sacrifice this treasure, pay two mana here, and activate it again. Yeah, sure. So it goes out, it comes back, and it, I will target that thing. The uh, first uh, activation will fizzle because it's a new Derevi, and it's not the same target. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess that's it for my turn. Yes. I will. I will untap, I will draw a ooh, ah, draw a card, activating uh, Ashiok, targeting uh, Pontus this time. Okay, Dark Thumb, Wild Growth, Noxious Rival, High Tide, ooh, High Tide hurts bits. I am going to combat, I'm attacking with everything I have at Anis. Yep, yeah. is Emil a 3-3? 4-4. 4-4, alright, taking everything. It's a grand total of 12 damage. Yes. Uh, I have uh, three untaps here. I'm targeting all my free creatures. There's nothing else to really do here. I don't want to tap down you guys' mana. So yeah, that's it for my turn. I I pass. I'll go to untap, upkeep of crypt, lots of damage. Take three, draw for turn. Oh yeah, I'll pay for the draw because why? It's like losing. <laughs> why? Let's actually explain this little situation. I don't have blue mana at the moment. I have Bayou, Plato, and Stomping Ground. The only access I can get for blue mana is with the Smothering Tide. So they have to pay for the Smothering Tide because I can win in instant speed once I just get one CC activation. All right, that isn't all true. Actually, I also need a random whatever creature for my Gaia's Cradle really need to find a solution here so i'll tap two to cycle cloud affairs draw a card that's not a solution trigger though Paying. yeah okay. yeah not crazy i'm just yeah. stupid <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Rain first land return. Uh, Ashok is still in play. So, yeah, let's just pass. Uh, Anis, did you draw a card for your turn? Uh, yeah. Trigger sight. Yeah, uh, I will pay. Yeah. Why is everyone paying? 
because it, if you search, it's doomed. Yeah. Um, I just... And step Najila search seems kind of dangerous. And Najila doesn't win here. And I don't have a Najila in my deck as well. Oh, yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> he needs to get the creature into play and find Gas Grill, and he wins. He's gonna pass. Uh, yeah, thing on that. Does step wrong? I will. Yeah, yeah, I will pay because I'm a responsible. Uh, yeah, I will pay. Uh, yeah, I would like to move to combat. Yeah, the usual stuff. I wanna activate and flicker Darevi with Emil. Sure. If Darevi goes out, Darevi comes in. I'll tap that thing, and I will tap this. No, wait. Do I wanna do that? I might wanna tap more stuff here. Want the one-one counter? Is that it? Yeah, I want the 1-1 one, one counter, actually. No, I don't want that. I, I, I want the protection. I want to have protection. That's fine. Wow, this Emil the Rev is really doing some work. I don't think the Emil is a dead card inside the deck as you can sit here and do some value cool things like this. Now, Pontus is sitting there with a City of Brass untapped and he could have a Red Elemental Blast in his hand. So if I were to tap that stomping ground, I wouldn't be able to protect the Revi from a potential spot removal. So I want to keep the free mana over there untapped and available at all times. Yeah, in my second main phase, I would like to play Lotus Petal and then I pass. Yes. Uh, draw a card for the turn. We, we are seriously in the beatdown game here. Um, I don't think Odd Nas does much for Anis anymore. And uh, Pontus, it's uh, your time to take damage here. Okay, 6, 10, 12, sure. And then I will untap all my free creatures here. And then I'm gonna minus Ashiok and target uh, you this time, uh, Jinja. Sure, four cards? Yeah, four cards. Uh, mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Oriak Salvages, and Red Elemental. That was pretty good. That was, that was yeah, pretty that good. Was... That, was, that was good, decent. And then I'm gonna pass the turn again. Okay. Untap, upkeep, roll for crypt, all this damage, take three, draw for turn. I don't have any idea how to deal with the meal. Uh, not really. Want to spit? I paid, right. yeah. All right. I'm responsible. She does nothing for me. I don't care. Uh, does me getting rid of Ashio help any of you to deal with mons? Do you get rid of the smothering? You get rid of Ashio? And I can, I don't know. Because the only way I I'm see is getting rid of I'm in Timur, so my rule de yeah, deals yeah. with Igor, not both. Or I guess no, mon spells, never mind. But yeah, I can't deal with yeah. the smothering. I'll Otherwise I would, um, but if you don't care about me getting rid of Ashiok, then I just pass instead. Do you pay? Uh, no, I don't pay for smothering, by the way. You don't uh, pay? Because, no, All right. because I'm gonna need... I got a treasure. Yeah, I have no idea to play this. Um, Chrom do for me here. I think I just need a... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, play Chrom. Cool. <laughs> That's alright, I'm just gonna pass it then. I'll tap Chrom. Uh, I will not, not pay. All right, I'll gain a treasure. I would like to move to combat. Same as last time. I'm gonna flicker this with Emil. Yeah, and target. Up. Then I will go into my second end phase. Absolutely. I will cast our set. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. I would like to find a star set. I think I will chain off. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Game got spicy. And then I will pass the turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think for a second. Do I search now? No, we don't. Draw a card. Tap Stomping Ground, cast Elves of Deep Shadow. Uh, combat, everything at uh, Pontus. Okay, go to blocks. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, block, block. Uh, yeah, they will die, and the Revi will um, go through. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For damage. Absolutely. Like the Thassius. Sure. Dry. Hmm, that's interesting. I will take you, yeah, this works. I reveal a Pyroblast in my hand. You get a treasure. I get a treasure. How nice. Then my commanders die, I take two. Yeah, I will untap this stomping ground. I would like to sacrifice a treasure and activate CC. That is dangerous, isn't it? I think this is the time I have a response because I'm first in turn order. Lose a life. We saw you draw a pyroblast, right? Yeah. Yeah, we saw you draw that one. Oh no, uh, Ninja. I'll pyroblast the derby. I would like to respond to that by sacrificing this treasure and casting a swan song. I would like to respond. Oh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, this doesn't work. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, you get to draw and a second spell of... No, no, I, I, no, I don't get to draw. The... Uh, oh, yeah, you I get to draw one from turn, right? You get to, you draw, get to draw, yeah. draw one from me and I will generate a treasure here. So, unless Anis has interaction here, Mons got it with the swan song. Uh, I can't I can cast more spells, so pass. Yeah, okay, I'll pass on the... So, the Sisei activation is on the stack. Then... And our blast, 
then I think I will cast Chain of Vapor, targeting the... You're targeting the meal here, probably. Or he still has white mana. It's still pretty rude. Yeah, he has, he has a meal mana. Um, see, okay. Um, so it is the meal he target, because the meal he can't flick your response. Or I mean, he can search Gaia's Cradle now, right? Make yeah, yeah, yeah. Mana. That's what's on stack, basically. So I would like to target uh, Chrom for the bounce. Wait, wait, Chrom. He wants You can still copy it. This. Yeah, but I, I don't think we should... I think we need to, like, work together to get him at the moment. Yeah, he wants you yeah. to sacrifice lands. That's the thing. You just need to sacrifice one land and... Bounce. This doesn't matter. Probably this doesn't. Do, this therapy. doesn't do it. So unless you have something, we still lose. It doesn't matter. Uh, wait. What's on the? So yeah, well, we lose if the uh, if the red blast or the fire blast gets uh, countered, right? Uh, no. Uh, depends. I like how you. Yeah, I like how you guys actually know my deck right now. It's kind of awesome to hear you debate about how to solve it. I hate toolbox decks, man. I hate them. No, let's see. Um, <laughs> I love them. Okay, so we, we need to kill the Revy, right? Or Emil. Or Emil, yeah. Although I do like the idea of killing the Revy as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna back this Blood Crypt, uh, and I'm going to... And my, my Chrome is bounced, right? Wait. If we need another response, we need another thing here. Okay. This doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce Emil then. Can you just replay Wait, him? but Emil, he can, he can just yeah. replay cast a meal yeah so what do we, but what i do think he can him? recast everything and the, the really can just flick yeah, we can response. actually we can actually shortcut this because here's the thing pontus and ninja aren't allowed to cast more spells after this so anis if you have any interaction if you bounce this i will find cradle and i will cast this by paying these two this is in play tap cradle and win if you bounce this, if you target this thing, I will bounce it with Emil. It will go out and come back into play, and I will untap the soldering. And then Cradle comes into play, and I win. So the chain of vapor well, doesn't do you... it. You need one I thing. I think the best point yeah. is targeting deafening silence because then Pontus can cast yeah. more spells. Uh, that is also a play. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if Pontus that, has that is anything. honestly maybe the best play, but it's only a play if Pontus and uh, Ninja has more things. Uh, I have I something maybe, but not really probably. But yeah, I think that's still the best play, honestly. Yeah, if we get Deafening Silence, if we somehow buy more interaction, at least we can use it. I'm gonna bounce the Deafening Silence uh, after I sack that land. Deafening Silence goes to my hand. I will stop the chain. I don't want to do more. So Swan Song is on stack. Mons, do you want to respond to Swan Song? Uh, no, I don't want to respond to my own Swan Song. <laughs> Why not? Uh, no. I will respond to Swan Song. Aha! Losing one more life. Oh. Yeah, me too. I'll cast the Veil of Summer. Aha! Still doesn't do it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, first, we should let him put the flick on the stack first. I... Yeah, I will I will put a flick. So I will put a flicker on the stack. Put the flicker on the stack above the Veil of Summer. Yes. I'm passing on the flick. But we need one more piece of removal. Yes. You do? And also, I get it on. I, I can... I mean, if you guys really have nothing, I can do something on uh, on desperation, but that only works sometimes. That's where we're at. I pay one life to brainstorm. Uh, don't that's don't, like don't do that, because that I will generate... Help at all. Uh, I know yeah. that you will generate treasures, but otherwise... Otherwise, we lose 100%. We can uh, actually respond to the trigger to, for you to get pressures, so it actually could help. But I guess if you have nothing else, that's all we can do, and that kind of works if it does. But we're still losing here if, it does, if you fizzle. So the brainstorm resolves, and after it resolves, the treasure triggers go on. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, I get nothing. I have only sorceries for things. Okay. Do I gain uh, four, three treasures? I, I think I think it's over then, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I, will, I will demonstrate a loop. It's not win, but it's you gonna concede because you're not gonna be able to do anything for the entirety of the game. So I'll find Guy's Cradle. Uh, I will tap this Guy's Cradle to flicker the Revi uh, to untap Guy's Cradle. I have four creatures, so I will generate infinite mana. So with the infinite the green mana, I can now untap everything that I have. However, here's where the game doesn't end for me yet. And we you're still- tap everything down in our up, right? Yeah, because I'm gonna tap down everything you have. Uh, I have infinite mana of everything but blue. I can't find legendary stuff because I don't have blue sources, but I do have blue treasures. So I'm gonna cast Teferi Time Reveler and then recast Deafening Silence. So what I can do now is that I can tap down everything you have before you draw a card. You aren't allowed to cast uh, any spells uh, before you draw the cards. So you're not allowed to in basically interact in any form of wave here. I can also find, with one more treasure here, Falia, that means you have to pay one mana in your upkeep, in one mana for each spell, which means that you can't play a land and then play something and start trying to win. From here, I will start to basically generate blue mana because you can't pay for these either. 
Yeah, and then that's I will... true. But it's a win regardless, because you're gonna be unable to basically do anything, and I will beat you to death, to death slowly. Or not that slowly, it'll probably take like two turns. Play of the game. What's for a creature for three could he run? What creatures am I forgetting? You forgot the Revi. Right, of course, lol. Yay, I won! Good job, me! This unicorn and this bird really did some work this game. They truly made me survive, but I also think that Smothering Tide put in some great work. It basically enabled me to get to this amazing point. That's it. Take care, guys. Bye! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.